It's been over 800 years since a Naga was consecrated in this way. here for a very unique possibility. You are part of the consecration, but not here just as a spectator. The intensity, the power, you see the mystical side of Sadhguru. This is not about looking up, this is about rising up. Let's make it happen. Namaskaram, Namaskaram all of you. We are here for a very unique possibility in this wonderful place. Are you cursing the rain? Yeah, it's good to be wet. <laughs> the idea of having all of you here is so that you are part of the consecration. You are not here just as a spectator. If that needs to happen, you must be participating the same level as me, the same level of involvement. Before I tell you the various aspects of what Naga is, I must tell you from uh, what I've been looking up last few days, I see in nearly over eight hundred years, a proper consecration of Naga has not happened. The last one that happened was over eight hundred years ago. So you are prop part of a momentous event like this. What Naga means, why Naga, all those things, we'll look at it later because there are some immediate things that I must do before uh, time lapses. This is a rasa dhanda, that means it is a a mercury stick, it is loaded with full uh, solidified mercury. It is believed in uh, what we today refer to as modern science that unless you take mercury to minus thirty-two degrees centigrade, you cannot solidify it. That is not really solidification, that's more kind of freezing. But here mercury is solidified, it's at room temperature. This is the Indian alchemy. Solidified mercury can be energized in such a way, it can be of a tremendous aid to a human being. To break one's limitations, to go beyond what we refer to as the capabilities of our body and mind, to be able to do something that uh, is generally branded as superhuman, but this is all human.